So after we harvested our first flush, we dunked it underwater for a couple of hours and we set it up for our second flush. This is the one that we got from Spores. Um, so we spawned to bulk on July 24th. We got pins on August 3rd and we harvested on August, that says a Y, but it's August 8th. And it is now August 15th. That's seven days. We should have gotten at least pins by now. So what's going on? What What's happening here? This, I don't think, I think that's bruising more than uh, contamination because it hasn't spread in a long time. I should just throw this away, but I'm going to do a test because the f original test I did was I always cut them like I show in my harvesting video and they always say if you pull them out you know twist and pull like they say you are harming the mycelium and it'll affect your next flushes and I had I hadn't pulled them in years so I thought you know what let's do an experiment with this one and pull them pull them and I'm not getting any pins and I even got that green stuff going on. So here's here's the thing. Now I'm gonna try something that I usually that usually helps. I'm gonna scrape the the surface with a fork, and uh, and then I'm gonna put a casing layer on it. Sometimes that makes it pin again, because um, it looks like the the surface is just no good. So let's try that. So now that I have sanitized my fork with uh, rubbing alcohol with 70% alcohol I'm gonna scrape it <laughs> I'm trying to get this inside a ziplock bag so bear with me so we're gonna scrape this and then put a casing layer on it I'm already preparing the uh, cocoa core I got it put boiling water on it I'm getting it ready and we'll see. I'll keep you posted about how this turns out. Okay, so as you can see, I've scraped quite a bit. Not too aggressive, but see that little mountain of cocoa core? That's what I took off. So I'm going to give it a casing layer, and I'm going to spray this a little bit, then give it a casing layer, and see how that goes. Oh, and I'm going to throw all this out. I'm not leaving that in there. This is all cleaned up. Now, another reason I am giving this a uh, second chance is because it smells good. It doesn't smell um, like contamination. So it smells fresh uh, like a forest. So that's a good indication. We'll, we'll see if this actually pins after a new casing layer is put on. Okay, so recased on August 15. There's a casing layer. See, everything looks fine. It doesn't have any contamination anywhere. And if that green stuff that we saw would have been contamination, it, it would have spread so quickly. So um, I think it's bruising. We'll see. Um, if this casing layer gets green again, then I just toss it. We're just giving it a second chance, as mentioned. So now I'll just uh, spray some water in there. Mostly on the sides because the... Uh, it we'll see so recasing it always works like a dream if you get uh, stalled mycelium put a new casing layer on it and wait a little bit and as you can see 
it works.